Hello and welcome to Raggy's Tap Room with me, Mr. Raggy, Raggy's Craft Beer Reviews in the home of beer reviews. So I came down the beer the, the beer room to um, to do a live, and uh, Benjamin kind of said to me earlier, um, "You want to do a live? Get yourself back into the spirit, test your connections." So I actually thought, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, comes down, turns the Chromebook on, your sis, um, Chrome OS and that missing. I'm like, oh, fuck's sakes. So, pardon my French. And I managed to get it to repair itself. So we're on 88%, your system is repairing itself. So that's a good thing. But in any case, um, yeah, let, let's do a review while I'm watching it because I can't do nothing else. And uh, so I've poured out the Citra Pale Ale, the first ever grain brew by me. And I haven't done one since, to be fair. It's been a crazy busy year. Um, is what it is, you know, you know, so, so, um, what with work and social stuff and um, overtime doing gardens and that. Literally life is, is, is flying by at a, a pace that I've never seen before. And with issues galore, but hey ho. So there we go. And uh, I, I cracked it open the other day, and uh, it's still smelling really good. This is the last bottle, last two liters. When I cracked it open the other day, I thought it was oxidized. But in the light, it's actually quite a nice um, orangey pour. It always looks crap in this light. In proper daylight, it looks a lot better. It looks like a proper, but proper brewery do. I don't know if I'm with doing homebrew. I don't know if I'm going to go down the. Um, don't sorry, that's bad. Someone's at my door. Someone's at my door. Yeah. Chip shops here. You know what it is, don't you? That sod's law. The minute you the minute you come down to do a review, um, I might eat my food and come back down. See how it goes. But in any case, um, this is smelling. It's got lovely tropical vibes to it. We're nearly six months on from... <laughs> we're nearly six months on from uh, me brewing this and it's tasting good it's been in bottles and it's just you know just goes to show you that the um, craft beer brewing is uh, an adventure worth taking up I am going to do my second brew it's not going to be till after Christmas I am going to barrel age either two or three brews. One brew may even be St. Peter's Imperial, uh, not yet Imperial, <laughs> Plum Porter. But I will Imperial it, you know, just to uh, see how it goes and uh, and maybe add, but not use sugar, no. Uh, probably use malt, liquid malt, uh, to give me a, a thicker, Extract malt, whatever you are, I don't know what you bloody call this stuff. Instead of going down the sugar route, because it will thicken it rather than it be a bit. That will give the ABV. Um, thank you. Welcome to your Chromebook. Get started. Okay, let's get started. So thank God it's working still. Um, so no one's message. No one's messaged me yet. So, uh, this is funny. Now, the Chromebook did drop the other week. I knocked it off the shelf when I was um, slightly, yeah, slightly there, <laughs> as you do. Uh, it's coming up with Wi-Fi, but we don't want to be connecting to Wi-Fi. Oh, hold on. Um, so... Looks like I'm gonna have to do some work in the shed, which isn't a bad place to work to be fair. If the wife's doing what she's doing, um, it's not a bad place to work. Mm. 
Turn the Wi-Fi off. All right. Hmm. So like I say, um, it's tasting absolutely spot on. No one's messaged me yet to say there's some food there. Um, and I've got to be honest, you know, it was it was a good day brewing it. I'm going to do some more brews. Next time I do a brew in the kitchen, I'll set up um, a live using that camera, but maybe on low resolution so that it doesn't knacker up. When I've got a kitchen again. <laughs> Fucking kitchen. <laughs> It's a, it's a laugh. No, it's not. But uh, it's, it's, well, it's not funny. No. It's a pain in the arse, but what can you do? Um, not much I can do, you know. Perseverance at the moment. I swear the, I swear the world's against me. But there you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just fuck. The wife's even the wife's the wife's more stressed than I am. I'm just getting to that stage where, oh, what more? What 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 more can you throw? You know. <laughs> In any case, um, here we go. So, yeah, it's looking good, and I'm going to drink the last two liters. Um, I got it from Brew Day Supplies, and uh, I've got to say, even all this time, yes, this light does not portray it in the best. Outside, it would look a vibrant orange. Light makes such a difference on beer reviews. You know, doing a, a beer review in the sunlight is, is king. Obviously, in darker rooms where lighting is not great, beers are going to look different. It's not tasting different. It's not smelling different. It's just the light effect and the look of it. But I'm well happy. Brew Day Citra Pale Ale, um, still hoppy, citrusy tropical vibes coming from it, and uh, flipping easy drinking. I think it was about 4.6% in the end, so it was a nice sessionable beer. And uh, yeah, and that's it for this review. Um, for me, a good 4.6. First ever grain brew, loving it, it's doing well. And it looks like I'm going to set the computer up the arse because it's not connecting to this bloody internet. But anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching all the Raggy Beer reviews. Um, it does mean so much to me. Uh, I try to be as interactive as possible. I'm, I'm not a good. I'm not great at it, to be honest. But I try. Um, massive weekend coming up on the channel. Um, Saturday. Urban Chicken Ale Tap Takeover. Massively looking forward to that. Hoping the, the guy himself shows his face. Can chat to him. Because he's a top class lad. And then on Sunday over to Sutton in Ashfield. So Ilkeston on Saturday. Sutton in Ashfield on Sunday. To Fire Rock Brewing. And their fourth birthday. And again meeting up with friends from the beer community. And uh, the good man Liam. Shane hopefully. Dungeon Own Brew Reviews, and we're going to get some reviews in, and we're going to get some reviews in with all of us, and it's going to be good. I, I hopefully I can find all my bits, but I can't find fuck all at the moment, because the ass is a shit old. But, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully. In any case, as always, thank you everyone for watching this channel. You know, the more we grow, the more people spread the word, we grow, we get bigger, and, you know, it's a channel where everyone's welcome. Everyone's part of the channel. You know, it doesn't matter race, colour, gender. None of that shit matters. What matters is we like a beer. That's all that matters in the world. And to be honest, in these times, we need a fucking beer. Chisel.